Wonderful. Okay. Um, just a quick straw poll, quick show of hands. Who recognises the graph to my left here? Honestly, they really honest. <laughs> what is it, Jonathan? Well, that's a very intelligent question, man. I'm surprised you asked. Um, what this is, is it's the referral curve of confidence. So for those of you who've been on MSP training recently, you'll know that the more good things you do, the higher up this curve you go. And when you get to certain thresholds, certain kicking points on the curve, you'll start to get the really, really valuable external referrals. We call them Tier 1, Tier 2 and Tier 3 referrals. And if you want to know all about that, please come on one of those fantastic trainers that me and I direct to consult by myself and Tim and some of the <coughs> well, uh, well, um, well presented <laughs> directors. Was that um, my mind's slipping a little this morning. So, I um, also want to do a bit of maths this morning, a bit of algebra. So, B plus C plus P, anyone remember what that means from their training? Credibility. 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 Yeah. Profitability. Profitability. Okay. I wanted to start with a slightly ironic start because I haven't been in for quite a long time, so my visibility really has been pretty poor in Singapore, but I'm not a member, so I'm going to get away with it. But as a member, you need to raise your visibility because that's going to actually impact on the bottom line the amount of business you're likely to get from your investment into BNI. and Credibility. So the more positive things you can do, the more profit you're going to make at the end of your BNI membership. Now, when we run this on MSP training, we spend a good half an hour running through all of the good things that you can do that will push yourself up that curve, get you to those threshold points that will get you those external referrals that you joined BNI for. Let me just have a little bit of interaction now at the feedback. Can someone suggest to me two or three things that might push us up the curve. Give referrals. Give referrals. Give good quality referrals. Absolutely. That's going to push you up, up the curve of confidence. It's going to give you more credibility. What other good things can we do? Think basic, simple things. Being in your meeting every week. Being in your meeting every week. Attendance. Absolutely. Well done, Jason. Yeah. What else can we do? Being on site. Being on site. Bring visitors. That's a really good one. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. What else? One to one. Brother. Absolutely. One to ones is the absolute single best way of getting more business. If you're not quite getting the return on your BNI investment that you want to get, look at how many one-to-ones you've had in the last six months. They're on the track of I sent out every week. So just double that number, double it and double it because your, your income will absolutely reflect the number of one-to-ones you've had. Yeah, what else can we do? Go to other chapters. Is it other chapters? Absolutely, so um, perhaps extend your network around other chapters. If you want members from other chapters, I'd suggest going to trainings is an even better way to do that because you get to see the fresh new members as well, particularly on trainings, which is a great way to branch out into other groups. Yeah, what else can we do? Good things to push us up. I think real basic, simple stuff. Really basic. Drink more coffee. Drink more coffee. <laughs> I knew you'd have an interesting suggestion, Barry, but I was quite incorrect. Thank you for that. <laughs> Be specific in your wiki presentation. Absolutely. Be really specific. Ask for the actual name of an individual in your wiki presentation. Thank you for using the new term rather than the 60 second brief. Okay, yeah, be really specific. So we're flicking switches at the back of people's heads. We're using their reticular activators to help them find more business for us at the top. So ask for something more general. Chances are we're not going to get it. If you ask something really specific, actually what you're doing is you're fishing. And sooner or later you're going to catch that fish and you're going to get that referral. What else? Simple things, little things to push us off this curve. Real simple. Gary? Uh, take on a roll. Take on a roll, absolutely. Raise your profile within the group. That massively increases the amount of energy you're putting into your BNI chapter. It pushes you straight up that curve. Especially if you're a visitor host, you're going to get straight in front of all the visitors. We want the number two referral givers within the BNI. So that's a fantastic opportunity to raise your profile excuse me, with one of the highest referral givers within the BNI. I think even simpler than that, right? That's a great suggestion. Think real, real simple, real grassroots. What sort of things can we do to show our belief in the BNI system? I am fishing a bit here. <coughs> Someone always gets it. Gary? Wear your badges. Wear your badges. That's, good. Uh, that's much better. Nice and simple. Wear your badge. Something so that people can see who your name is. Now, why do we wear a badge? What's the real reason why we wear a badge? Is it because I'm telling you to do it? Don't ever do anything because I'm telling you to do it. It's a terrible reason to do anything. Like <coughs> why do we wear a badge? It saves interesting, you're on the right line. So visitors, they're probably quite intimidated by being up because it's the first time they've ever been in a room full of all these people. There's probably quite a lot of energy, a lot of buzz in the room, and they don't know what your names are. So actually by wearing your badge, you're immediately diffusing the situation, you're helping them to feel more welcome, and actually they can then approach you and say, oh, well, your name's whatever, and let's start a conversation. So it's a really nice way to introduce yourself to visitors. 
One other one, by your BNI pin badge. That shows your belief in the BNI system. If you, if you knock on my door on a Saturday morning, I will answer the door, and even though I'm in my, not in my suit, I will still be wearing my BNI pin badge. <laughs> I'm not going to take that any further. <laughs> That's what I thought for the week. Thank you very much.